Assalamualaikum Example 10 adalah example terakhir dalam topik uh, equilibrium ataupun application of Newton first law Untuk example 10 ini uh, ada banyak sikit forces So kita kena banyak resolve dan uh, kena tengok uh, setiap force yang bertindak pada objek ini Dan uh, kita akan ulang sekali lagi steps langkah-langkah uh, penyelesaian yang kita dah buat pada example example uh, equilibrium sebelum ini so example 10 berbunyi a window washer pushes his scrub brush up a vertical window at a constant velocity by applying a force f ok so yang ada beberapa perkara yang pertama sekali perkataan push dan juga applying a force F menunjukkan wujudnya external force F uh, sebagaimana yang ditunjukkan dalam figure 4.14 dan perkataan yang kedua di sini adalah constant velocity ok so yang pertama sekali uh, benda yang kita tahu non value bila dikata constant velocity, maksudnya sum of f is equals to zero, fy is equals to zero, fx is equals to zero. And then dia kata kat sini, the brush weigh 10 newton. So, dia beri weight of the brush. ten newton. So, automatically, automatically kita tahu bahawa objek yang kita nak study ini adalah berus ini ok that brush is 10 newton bukan holder dia ok and the coefficient of kinetic friction Ah, ok sekarang ini example ini dah melibatkan satu uh, force yang kita tahu sebagai friction tetapi dia tidak bagi value friction yang diberi adalah value coefficient of kinetic friction which is equal to 0.125 calculate the magnitude of force f so unknowns is f again friction kinetic is also unknown but we have the coefficient of kinetic friction well, normal force is unknowns, a lot of unknowns. Mm, that is question B, normal force. So, kita ada normal force juga, un unknown. So, basically, kita ada tiga unknowns. Equation, coefficient of, uh, equations kinetic friction, ada pada learning outcome for point 1C, Fk is equals to mu k times m. So, Mungkin kita boleh gunakan equation ni nanti. So, first, apa kata kita identify dulu forces on the brush. So, yang pertama sekali force yang dah sedia ada pada gambar ini adalah external force F. And then, kita ada weight downward. And then, since uh, orang itu tolak uh, brush itu up, a vertical window so pergerakannya ke atas so the motion is upward ok jadi friction juga bertindak ke opposite to the opposite to the to, to the motion so motion upward uh, friction is downward and then we have a surface of the wall that is normal force that must be perpendicular to the surface and I think that's all kita ada. Kita tak ada tali, no tension. Weight dah ada. External force dah ada. Normal dah ada. Friction dah ada. So, semua force kita dah pun identify. So, dalam kes ini kita ada four forces. So, let's draw a free body diagram. Let's represent the brush as a dot. I have frictional for, uh, external force F. Frictional force fk weight w and normal force perpendicular to the surface now mana angle okey kalau, kalau kita tengok dalam kes ini angle 50 degree adalah angle di antara horizontal dan juga 
uh, apa nama kita panggil ni? Uh, batang berus ni. Okey. So angle 50 degree pada force vector juga sa sama. So ini juga angle 50 50 degree. Okey, angle yang ini 50 50 degree. So kita boleh tengok dia sa sama. So di sini angle theta 50 de degree. Saya tak listkan pula angle theta sebagai non value. 50 degree. So kita dah ada free body diagram. The next step is to resolve vectors in the table. So kita seperti biasa ada force, ada x component, ada y component. Force yang kita ada adalah n normal force, weight, and then I have kinetic frictional force and external force F. So kita kena resolve setiap force ini satu per satu. Bagi normal force, kita lihat dalam diagram ini n lies on x axis, non on y axis, non in between. Okay, so kita boleh kata n x is equals to negative n. Kenapa negative? Because n uh, pointed to the left. So ke kiri, therefore negative. And y component, since n is in x component, not in y component, not in between x and y component. So n, y is 0. Kita boleh tengok daripada diagram ni, kita tak boleh pun nak resolve n kepada y. Force yang kedua adalah weight. Weight is downward in y component. So not in x component, not in between x and y component. So weight x is equals to 0 newton. So weight y is equals to negative w. Why is it negative? Because weight is downward. Okay. And friction fk. So kita boleh tengok juga dalam diagram ni. Friction is downward. So downward is in x, is in y axis. Not in x axis. Not in between x and y. So kita kata fk y is equals to negative fk okay and that is that is equals to negative mu k times n okay so i throw substitute equation kinetic frictional force dalam table ini so the next uh Komponen adalah fx, so fk ada pada y komponen, tidak berada pada x komponen, so fkx is equals to 0 newton. So bagi external force pula, kita boleh resolve uh, this force into x komponen and Y component. Now look at this diagram. Fx is adjacent to angle theta. So apabila adjacent, kita kata uh, Fx adjacent cos. So F cos theta. Okay. Then uh, Fx ke arah kanan, to the right. Therefore, Fx is positive. So positive f cos theta meanwhile fy is equals to so fy is opposite to angle theta so kalau opposite is sine so fy is equals to f sine theta so kenapa positive because fy is upward and since uh, the brush move with constant velocity Therefore, the net force in x component is zero, and the net force in y component is also zero. Now let's look at question A. Calculate the magnitude of force F. So, apa kata kita highlightkan terlebih dahulu unknowns, benda yang kita tak tahu di kat sini. First kali N kita tak tahu, F kita tak tahu. 
Okay. So, dalam X component terdapat dua unknown. Manakala bagi WX dan juga FKX tidak ada masalah. Value-nya kosong. Let's look at Y component. Uh, unknown kita di sini adalah uh, F. Okay. Dan juga again normal force. Okay. So... Kita kena come out with two equations. So, each components, we have two unknowns. And naturally, if we have two unknowns, we need to have two equations to uh, find the unknowns. So, the first equation is from the x component and the second equation is from the y component. So, let's look at x component. Sum of fx is equals to 0 and x plus wx plus fkx plus fx is equals to 0. Now, and x is negative n plus 0 plus 0. You tak payah substitute plus 0 plus 0 pun tak apa. Tapi saya sengaja nak tunjuk. Okay, sebenarnya wx dan fk itu tak hilang. Tetapi value dia adalah kosong. Plus f cos theta is equals to 0. So, I can write the first equation as n is equals to f cos theta. Now, that is equation 1. Okay. So, from this equation, n and f is un unknown. So, the second equation is from y component. Okay, so y component, kita ada uh, ny plus wy, sum of fy is equal to 0, ny plus wy plus fky plus fy is equal to 0. Okay, so di sini kita ada 0 plus negative w plus fky is negative mu k times n plus uh, f sin theta is equal to 0. So, saya boleh uh, tulis equation ni dengan lebih kemas sikit. Negative w minus mu k n plus f sin theta is equals to 0. So, this is equation 2. So, again, we have two unknowns, n and f. So, we can substitute. So, by using substitution method, equation 1 into equation 2. So, n is equals to f cos theta. Therefore, we have negative w minus mu k times n is equal to f cos theta plus f sin theta is equals to 0. So, substitute all the value. Weight is 10 newton. That is given in the question. Okay, that is given in the question. Here we go, 10 newton. W is equal to 10 newton and mu k is equal to it is also given 0 0.125 okay 0 0.125 times f cos 50 degree plus f sine 50 degree is equal to 0 now, yang tinggal sekarang ni bukan lagi fizik tetapi matematik. So, pelajar-pelajar semua hanya perlu tekan nombor, tekan kalkulator untuk dapatkan value F. Pause dulu video untuk lakukan jalan kerja pelajar-pelajar sekalian. Dan jawapan bagi soalan A, F is equals to 14.58 Newton. So, that is the first part of example 10 okay the external force 
Magnitude of F. Okay. So, soalan ni tak minta direction because direction is already given 50 degree. So, however, for question B. Okay. Soalan minta. What is the normal force exerted by the window on the brush? Okay. So, normal force N can be calculated by using equation 1. Okay, so equation 1, equation 1 is N is equal to F cos theta. F is already calculated 14.58 cos 50 degree. And yang tinggal tekan calculator saja, 9.37 Newton. So, very easy if you know the method. If you follow all the steps, if you draw and resolve the vectors in a table correctly, if you draw the free body diagram correctly, okay? So, mathematiknya sangat simple sahaja. Okay, berhati-hati dengan sign convention negatif dan positif uh, kerana apabila vektor ianya melibatkan direction dan kita mesti masukkan direction dalam calculation. So, that's all for to, uh, for this video. Uh, jumpa lagi pada video akan datang. Terima kasih.